Zabby here today with another Zabby Rocks. Today we're going to do a review of some steam projects and then how to display them. All right, here we go. This is the kit that I purchased for my classroom. I purchased many of them. They call them STEM kits. I wish they would put an A in there because they're very artsy when they're finished. Personal preference, being an artist. Okay, they're called Proax E or just Proax. I'm not quite sure. Um, but it's a good little kit. They cost about 25 bucks for a box. There's five projects in a box. So $5 a pop. Um, but they come with everything. They're gonna come, they come with a motor. They come with um, all the tools you're gonna need to put it together. So that was good. I thought that was very good. The instructions are fair. I mean, you gotta do a little bit of guesswork, but the kids all seem to figure that out. The pictures were good. The words, fair. All right, it says ages eight and up. I believe that. That sounds like a good plan, maybe even 10 and up, because they're delicate. So you can't just tear into it. So it comes with all the different, um, instructions for each of the projects so that's really nice and the projects look like this when they come to you they come with the wheels somewhere for your batteries this one has a fan blade and a motor all the little screws you're going to need so that's really good and then they are all going to look slightly different and this one says it's going to make into a tank very good um and once again motor battery holder, screws, wheels, even a, a rubber band for your tank so you have a nice uh, tread on the bottom there. And there's another one. I'm not sure what this one makes into, but once again, everything's in that packet. And this one, another one, everything in its packet. Um, I really like that it comes with the motor and its wires. It even comes with a little uh, emery board in there to file down your pieces of wood if they're not quite right. That's the most difficult part though, I think, in this project is just having the kids snap them out of the wood pieces because you have to be gentle else they will break. But I mean, they're very well marked. And so it's not too difficult, but if you're going fast, you can definitely crack it in the wrong place. So just take a little caution, take a little care when you take them out. Um, it does come with tools. The, it only comes with two screwdrivers, which, you know, is great. But I think that one for each project would be handy. So when you pass them out, everybody could get going at the same time. But if you buy a few kits, then you've got a lot of these around, which I happen to do. So that was good. So... Here's what they turn into when they're done. And let me say, I think I might have misspoke. I think there's only four projects in this particular box. And they also make one that comes in plastic, which I'll review on another time. But this is one of the kids made this, and it was a Ferris wheel. This had to be the most difficult one to make, I think, because there's so many parts to it. Let's see if I can get it to go. Oh, yeah, there we go. I mean, it, look, it travels really well. I mean, it's going pretty good. I'd be scared if I were on that. <laughs> so there's the Ferris wheel. We also made uh, this kind of a Jeep looking car. I think they call it the off-roader. Um, and it, it comes, that one had a nice little button to start and go. This one you just press down where the uh, batteries go. There's a little lever that you just push to the right place and it should go. Woo! There we go. Oh yeah, listen to that power. Anyway, it travels really well and really fast. It can scooch right across the table. Um, you know, they're a delicate little balsa wood kind of idea here, so they can't hit the floor. I mean, if they do, they're going to self-destruct. So then I was like, well, now what are we going to do with them now that we've made them? Because they usually work in a team, so it's hard to send them home with the students because, well, you know, we need to do half a car or you take it for a week, you know. So anyway, we keep them in the room until the end of the year when I'll figure out what we're going to do with them. But then I had to figure out a way at how we're going to display these. So what I ended up doing was I took the empty steam boxes 
and what I was able to do was after everything's out of them, I took three or four tacks and I have this school wall where you can put tacks into it. And then I took my box and then back here on the back side, I put in three tacks to hold it to the wall. And then I just closed it up. And now it was up there like this, like a stand. So that was really, really good. And then the projects just go back on top. No cost, no fuss, no muss. So that was that was a brilliant idea. I'm still proud of that. Um, I tried some other boxes, like these uh, uncrustable boxes here, but they're a little flimsier and it's harder to get the tacks to work with this size box. Um, it's just not as stable. And you could use half a box even to do this project, which I have done, and I'll take some pictures to show you. Um, but I thought that was a clever way to display them because now they're up on the wall, they're on a stand, and, you know, it looks more do not touch, even though we do get some, you know, action with them. But I, I felt good about a way to display them for the students. All right. Well, everyone, I give this project a thumbs up. It was pretty darn good. I uh, kept the kids busy and engaged for half hour, 40 minutes. Teamwork, uh, fine motor skills thinking, a lot of engineering going on right here. I'd say it's a good, good project. All right, everyone. I hope you've liked this project. I hope you like the shelving idea. Uh, thank you uh, once again from Zabby Rocks. Please give me a like and a subscribe and a share. Thanks, everyone. Bye.